All right, I've had a couple of videos this morning here already, chit-chat videos where I've been talking about things that have been irritating me and I've been all wound up. I hadn't even had that many cups of coffee. I made another pot, but I got, I've been all wound up this morning about things I've seen online. Needed to talk about that a little bit. And I got this, I got this, this is an old hardwood chair. This is an antique chair. Now, I got this out because I intended to sit down and, you know, kind of have a nice little chit-chat with you and all. But I get so wound up about things, I, I never sat down, right? I'm, and I'm not going to sit down in this video. So, I brought it out for nothing. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just, you know, getting things out there on video getting a couple things off my chest and now I'm going to talk a little bit about something with these patrol packs so what I got here is I have a a medium Alice no frame and I have a uh, spec ops brand recon ruck no frame which is basically it is a a uh, a modern medium Alice with uh, heavier duty materials. A little bit of difference. Uh, some things good, some things not so good. But it doesn't matter because the baseline, it's a great, it's a great pack, right? But I'm trying to set them up the same for spring, summer, autumn, winter, right? So, here we got the, uh, this is a very old, right, this is a very old uh, medium Alice, no frame, so, the thing about the Alice is that it's still viable, I talked about that in the other video, I, I talked about large and medium a few videos back the thing is is that they are still viable for use even in these modern times you don't have to buy a 500 or a 1000 dollar sack in order to you know outfit yourself you can get yourself an old Alice or you can pick up the spec ops you know, I, I showed a, a couple videos just on this where I changed a couple things, got rid of the squeaking because there's a shoulder strap squeaking that will happen if you don't do the mod that I showed you. Um, but that, that, that squeaking is gone. There's going to be <clears throat> two more pouches added, just like the top two on this one. Okay, these are uh, light machine gun pouches, all right, and uh, there's, I got two more of these coming in a DCU uh, three pattern that are going there. I have three pouches made by London Bridge and Khaki, so I got three pouches here, and, and uh those, those three khaki pouches will go in this, basically the same places as on the Alice, but I've got, a, I've got an issue with the, the Spec Ops Recon Ruck has nothing, it has nothing around here to attach anything, so I'm going to have to sort that out. I've already got a plan. I already got the webbing to do it. So I'm going to sew in webbing so that I can attach the three khaki pockets from London Bridge up here. And also I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sew some tiger stripe 1000 denier camouflage to the outside panel of each 
pouch, right? Kind of break it up just a little bit, and then that way when I put the pouches on, I have a little tiger stripe blended in there. And uh, these Bren gun style pouches I put on here, I did this whole buckle thing here. I changed that whole buckle out on both of them. I did up this camo pattern. And uh, so, another thing I did, I'm going to show this to you guys. I talked about this before online. Is I make up these oval team containers. I camo these oval team containers. Now I got stuff for spring, summer, right? I don't know if you could see there's two different colors of green there. Alright, maybe it's easier to see on the brown. brown and tan there. Anyway, these go in the little pockets on your Alice ruck and your Alice patrol pack. Alright, so here's your autumn winter. There's one in there already. And also I got a set of winter goggles in there too. So, this helps you to keep Small stuff all together, tea bags, coffee, other things like that. It also gives them a high level water resistance. You shove that down in there. And you still got, there's my whole fist to the top, right? You still got more room in there. Anyway, it gives a bit of form. It also helps to protect certain small items like tea bags, things like that, right? I mean, I'm just giving you an example. That you can put anything in there you want. Anyway, these right here, I, I sewed these on and re, re, redirected these straps through there, right? That's in another video. I talked about it already. So yeah, there's going to be more mods to this Spec Ops Recon Ruck. 1,000 denier. Okay, that's I really like 1,000 denier in a patrol pack or a rucksack. Let me tell you something. 1,000 denier, that's combat material. That'll get you through a war. Alright, so a lot of stuff is too thin. It doesn't last long enough, but then people that are part of the regular forces, the regular army and navy and marines and so on, you know, they wear something out. They just say, hey, I need a new one, you know, comes out of your pocket. So, but you as a person, as a minute man, minute woman, it comes out of your pocket too. But it's more direct. Alright, so. I got a couple in this one. Right now. So in the medium. Two outside pockets. I've got these camouflaged oval team containers. And in the center pocket. I have my. BCB Mark II. Cook. Cook. Uh, uh, cook, cook stove. Right. I could use a trangia burner in there, or I could use twigs, or what you have a little fire in there, what have you. Or I could use <clears throat> any number of uh, military fuels, right? And esbit uh, uh, cubes, and so on, right? Hexi cubes, whatever. I could use all that in that BCB. Mark II, and it has pot stand already, so there you go, and then so you can have that in there, you can have an extra bottle of alcohol with you in there, 
uh, for Trangia, you're going to use Trangia burner. Alright, and the outside pockets. The outside pockets, I already had done up these Tiger Stripe version. Alright, we talked about these before. And that other stuff is more kind of a lot of ATAX FG looking. Because it's just easier to do, you know. It's home brew, right? It's a home brew thing. It still, see this one? Still actually. <clears throat> this pocket here is even slightly, just so ever so slightly larger on the original Alice, maybe like a centimeter deeper than on the uh, Spec Ops Recon Ruck. Anyway, so just fold that over. There's no drawstring on these. This is one of the reasons why I started doing this a long time ago, putting these old team containers in here. I've got a lot of old team containers. I've been years. I use them for everything. Is that uh, this doesn't draw string up? So I thought, well, if I just put some kind of container in there, and you know, there you go. So then you can do that. Button her back down. You're good. Same thing with the large containers. Now in the large, I'm going to be putting a container in the center on the back. Um, because I'm not going to be using this BCB Mark II in the ruck. I'll have a real fuel stove with the, with the rucksack. Because the rucksack... We'll, we'll be talking about that in the videos coming up. Rucksack is for a particular thing. And then your patrol pack is for when you're out on your patrol. You know, lighter, mostly, uh, mostly, you know, your bare bones on your, on your, your, your bare bones on nice things, you know, on comfort items. And then you're you're going to be more of a mission specific on your kit. We'll go in there, and then uh, ammo, lots of extra ammunition, all right? Because you don't want to get pinned down, all right? You want to be able to extract yourself from a situation. That's also a good weight loss program. Talked about that a little bit before. Yes, yeah, so I went ahead and painted up some more of the uh, old team containers. I'm running out of time again. I run out of time all the time. I, I never have enough time because I got so many things going on. Yeah, we'll take this last minute here. I'm going to show you one more thing I'm going to do, be doing. So since I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan, Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, not the movies. I don't like the movies because the movies are way off from the books. The books, the books are awesome. The movies, not so much. But anyway... So what am I doing now? So I got this patch in with the JRR token anagram or whatever you want to call it. All right? Get it up here close for you. So you can see right now the the JRR T uh, is masked off with masking tape, right? So I put it on there, outlined it, cut it out. I got these pieces here because I'm going to use them in the next stage. I'm going to be painting this because this material is white 
and I tried for like three hours to dye it like a dark tan. It wouldn't take it. It's like a very, very, very light tan. I wasted a lot of money and dye on it. So I'm going to paint it like I do with the stuff that I want to camouflage, right? So I'm going to camo it. And then I'm going to put a uh, hook, hook Velcro stuff on the back. But anyway, you'll see it when it's done. Yeah. That's something that I'm doing as a sideline thing for myself. Alright. Well, let you go with that. I hope some of this stuff gave you things to think about. I'll catch you later.